Today we're working on a house in southeast Portland, a house that was retrofitted by a handyman some time ago. It was a, a well-intended retrofit, but the handyman had probably just enough information to be dangerous. This is what the handyman installed. This is called the Simpson FJA. This is designed by the manufacturer for uplift, so it's designed to resist this motion, tensile. It has tensile strength. It doesn't have shear strength. It has a very small amount of shear strength. I could easily bend this with my hands. So not real effective in an earthquake, great in a hurricane. So what we're going to do today, we're going to connect the floor diaphragm to the sill plate using this. And second, we're going to install this, a Simpson UFP. Now we've done a load calculation for this house and we know that we're going to need seven of these on each wall. It doesn't matter how long the wall is, this will give us 1,340 pounds of shear resistance versus, once again, 185 pounds. Uh, I would say hundreds of houses in Portland are retrofitted with the wrong hardware. It's not that this hardware doesn't uh, offer any lateral resistance. It's just so little that uh, it just doesn't add up to much of anything. The homeowner was eligible for earthquake insurance with the old retrofit. Now they're actually in a good position to uh, ride out an earthquake.